ask Tom on home show. Jason from Ryan Acres, Texas, has a question about leaky vents. Well, he has uh, spray foam insulation, but it keeps his at so it keeps his attic the same temperature as the house. But Jason writes, it seems I'm getting condensation in the fan vent from the bathrooms and the laundry on the roof. At times, water will cascade down in the bathrooms and the laundry room. So how can I fix this? Even strong winds blow rain into the roof vent and down the tube, resulting in water dripping and sometimes pouring past the fan. What's your advice, Tom? Well, I would probably, it, it seems to me that the ductwork is metal. I'd, I'd go ahead and replace it with one of the plastic uh, vents that they use on the back of dryers uh, so it doesn't get so cold. This is a problem with insulated attics. They hold way too much humidity and you get anything that reaches dew point on the surface inside or outside of that uh, uh, metal vent. It's going to sweat like crazy. It's not unlike a cold can of, of, of beer or soda or whatever you're drinking outside. It's going to sweat without a koozie on there. So the bottom line is it's happening on the inside. So I would replace it and I would probably not go through the roof at this point. I would take if it's a, a vent for a uh, bathroom, then it would go over to the soffit vents, lay right on the floor of the attic and make it a, and, and replace it with that flexible plastic uh, venting that they use. It's it's like a Lama Flex. They use it for, for dryers. Uh, that's going to be a lot more less susceptible to sweating. Yeah. I've heard you talk about this before, that there's this myth that gets sold to homeowners about keeping your attic cooler because allegedly your AC will work better, but that's not really the role of the attic. Well, and th and that's the, the real point is, is, is it cooler in the attic? Yeah. It's a more humid in the attic. Yeah. Cause anytime you acclimate a space, you've got to have to have it uh, dehumidify. You got to keep it's, they only deal with the uh, sensible heat, which is hot, cold, not, not the latent heat, which is the water, the moisture in the air. And they both create a problem. So you, what you do is you go from one kind of a problem to another. And as far as if you do an insulation package properly and not insulate the attic and let the attic be the outdoor temperature so the building envelope reacts with the environment and you don't have mold, uh, sweating, water problems, things of this nature, it's a lot better. This whole idea of an insulated attic is kind of just a way to sell a lot of product and it doesn't fix a problem, it changes problems. And I think it changes problems for the worse. And the farthest you get, the farther or the closer you get uh, to the coast or the farther away you get from the coast, uh, it becomes less of a problem, but the closer you get to the coast, it gets even worse into where you get into the Gulf Coast region or down in Florida, it's a mess. They don't even do this. And the people that do end up with real problems. So uh, if you don't have a humidity issue, you live in Arizona and nobody really cares, but anywhere else you're gonna have sweating problems. And it's a problem with this, but that's that's the big picture. The little picture is he's got this house now. He's got this problem. How do you solve the problem without tearing out all the insulation? And I'm not going to ask him to do that. What I want you to do is rethink where this vent goes, lay it on the floor of the attic, take it over to a soffit vent, forget the penetration, especially if they're leaking, get a roofer to close them up. Because uh, you said the root, the vents are leaking. And if they are, you got the other problem there too. And that way, and like most... Uh, bathroom vents, they just go over to the soffits anyway. They should not go through a penetration and they should not be solid metal. You can use that plastic uh, flexible ducting like you use on dryers. Now there's a full answer and you can get one to your question. No, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Click on that Ask Tom button and yes. fill out this form. So all you have to do is fill out the form and Tom gives you the answer. And then the little minions around here edit it together and post it up and we put it on our uh, home show doc home show radio.com page and of course the website and on youtube on the uh, home show oh, i'm having a hard time talking today anyway the, on our youtube channel and by the way you want to do thomas solid if you like the video why don't you hit the thumbs up button because that makes them easier to find and if you really like them click that subscribe and the bell button and we'll notify you every time we post a new one